What's going on, y'all? Super excited about today, all right? Had a little bit, uh, a little bit extra, extra going on this morning. I shared that with y'all. Um, but today is really what I'm really excited about. This is one of my favorite things to do, y'all. I'm on day 255 of being celibate, and this is the type of stuff that now turns me on, y'all. So, first, go ahead and spread a little love on that share button. I'm going to go ahead and post it right here. Giving away the juicer, y'all, just automatically. I'm not going to be asking for those shares anymore, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, post this right now. So what I am doing, y'all, I'm very, very excited. So check it out. I bought this kitchen system a month ago, and I thought it was the best one because, you know, my Nutribullet was on its last legs, and it actually died on an episode. So I thought the kitchen was the best one, and I got it at Walmart. And they could range from $150 to $210. So I thought I had the best one in the kitchen system, okay? Well, I was at Sam's Club last week when I did my uh, Sunday grocery haul, and I saw that they have a Supra kitchen system versus the professional system, okay? So this is, let's see, this right here is the professional performance, okay? Oh, and check this out, y'all. Y'all notice anything different about the video? Y'all notice anything about the video? See how you can read things? See how you can read and it says, it says love right here versus evolve, evolve. Now it says love, y'all. So I figured that out. I think it just came out how to switch that around. So now y'all see my smile from a different angle, you know, and Iggy might look a little bit different, but at least y'all can read stuff, okay? So I think I figured that out. I think they just came out with that. This is on the, I, the, um, the iPad 4 mini, and you just go to settings, and you can flip it horizontal or vertical, okay? So I think, you know, I'm always trying to do next level. You know, I'm here to serve y'all, so I think y'all should be able to read that. Give me some hearts if y'all can read this stuff. So now when I'm doing a product, y'all can read it. So give me some hearts if you guys can, okay? Now, this right here is the Professional Performance Edition, okay? It's $150, y'all. And I have, you know, I was dealing with, you know, the mini canisters. They're really, really small, right? It's a food processor, Nutribullet, and blender in one. Well, I was at Sam's Club and I saw this kitchen system, okay? It's the exact same thing, but it's got two large canisters, double the size, and it has this little, these two little spiral attachments where you can make spirals out of zucchinis, you can dice stuff on top of the food processor, and guess what? It's the exact same price, baby, okay? So, one downside is I didn't have my receipt at Walmart, y'all. And what I learned today is that the Walmart that I went to, you cannot return things if you do not have a receipt if it's over $25. So I was a little bit sad, y'all. I even tried to give them the sexy face and try to, you know, you know sweeten the deal a little bit, but if, if, you, if you don't have the receipt, and I should keep receipts, y'all. Normally I do. I don't know what happened. I just didn't have it. Then if it's over 25 bucks, you're done. Now, if you don't have the receipt and it's less than $25, you can return the item and they will give you a gift card. Okay? So I had um, this rubber mat that I bought for the cold pressed juice and it was like six bucks, you know, and I didn't have a receipt, but they went ahead and gave me a gift card. So now I have two of them, okay? The bases are completely different, all right? And I'm very interested to see if the blender accessory is the same. I want to see if the processor accessory is the same. And I want to see if the blades are the same. The bases are completely different, same price. Here we go. So the old professional edition is only 1,200, or yeah, 1,200 watts and 1 1.5 horsepower, okay? Now the kitchen one is 1,500 watts and two horsepower for the same price and this one has got two large cups and the two extra spindles okay so i'm going to break this down i'm going to try to slow it down because this is what i'm here for baby this is exactly why i do this y'all this is a large investment this is 150 dollars y'all and so you know i'm already certain this one right here is going to be best and you know what i had the opportunity to buy this one i just thought that when it said professional performance I thought it was just next level than the kitchen system, okay? And you can see the boxes are a little bit higher, and it's probably because those larger cups and those two accessory, uh, accessory spindles for the, uh, 
you know, the, the, the vegetable spiralizer, right? I mean, this is like four and one. So what I'm going to do, you all have already seen this. Actually, you know what? I'll go through it again just because I want, I want to show you. Now, this is good, y'all, but you know, when I, when I do my juices and when I do my smoothies, I like a lot of food, you know, and I like a large canister. And as you can see, you know, what I did this morning, I had to make two smoothies, y'all, for my post-workout just because they're just not big enough. And so it just, it just double the work. So I have made, I've already used the, um, the food processor. I made a, a delicious, I sprouted cashews and I made a, a date sugar, cashew nut uh, butter, which was amazing. So, you know, the food processor, you can buy a food processor for $300. The food processor is next level. The blender's next level. Again, you have to take out, you have to take out the accessory versus the blend tech and the other ones, the accessories at the bottom. So um, it's a little, a little bit different. So, you know, this is a little bit dirty. It's just water. So this is the food processor, y'all. I'm very interested to see if it's the exact same one. Let's put this over here. Okay. We've got the lid. Here's the blender. So now we're going to compare the blenders. And that's the splendle that's already in there. So we've got the food processor and the blender. Now here's the main thing, y'all. Okay. Check these out. These are the two canisters that you get in the professional edition. Now I believe these are only 16 ounces, y'all. I'm almost positive. It doesn't even say, but I'm almost positive this is 16 ounces, okay? And remember, we're paying the same price. Now you get the two lids, okay, for the canisters. Boom, boom. Now you also get this right here for the food processor, and this you can use for doughs, okay? So you can make, you know, um, any type of doughs that you want in the food processor, okay? Now here's the base. This is gonna be different too, and I'm already telling you, this, this, this kitchen system has what they call the Auto IQ Performance System, so I believe it already has a sensor and recognizes what you're gonna do, y'all. You know, this even can confuse Jordan a little bit. So, I wanna break this down and really compare the two, y'all. And now that y'all can see it, look, now you can read it. So this right here is the performance edition, okay? This is what the base looks like. And I know Antoin Antoinette wanted to see, she's a member here, she, her, she's been using the food processor and I guess it broke, so she wanted to see what the inside looked. So here you go, Antoinette. Here's what the inside of the food processor looks like on the Ninja Professional. There you are, sweetie, right there, okay? So that's what the inside looks like. And I'm not sure if you wanted to see the back end, okay? So there you go. So now we have that. So I am very interested. Let me put this right here. And I'm very interested to see what we have with this Ninja, uh, Ninja Kitchen System. 1,500 watts and two horsepower at the exact same price. And you know, I think, I could be wrong, and this is what you know, Optimal Reset is for, I'm almost certain that this is a Sam's Club Special Edition. I, I, you know, because they sign big licensing agreements for products and brands, you know, like Costco when they do the, whole, the wholesale. And I think you could possibly only get this version at Sam's Club, and I tell you what, what a bang for your buck because you get the two larger can canisters, and, oh look at this, they put, uh, a recipe right here. Let me, let me read you these recipes. This looks amazing, okay? So the container is 24 ounces. The container in here is 24 ounces versus the 16 ounces. So that's eight more ounces. That eight ounces is huge, y'all. When you're hungry and it's thirst Thursday, you want that eight ounces rather than making two smoothies. So here we go, 24 ounces per canister. Here's the recipe that hits you right up at the beginning. This is the Island Sunrise Smoothie, okay? This is a three-fourths cup pineapple chunks, one small ripe banana, one and a half cups coconut water, three-fourths cup strawberries, and three-fourths cup mango. Place all ingredients in the 24-ounce Triton or Triton Nutri Ninja cup in the order listed. Turn it on and select Auto IQ for frozen drinks and smoothies, okay? Then remove blades from cup after blending. See, the remove blades, it's a little tricky though because you get some of that residue and you lose some of your product. So I think what they have is a little lid that you can pour like this. So instead of taking the blade off, you can keep the top on and just hit this like that and then just do a nice little pour, okay? So that's really cool. We've got a 24 ounce cup and it has 
um, the uh, auto IQ, uh, auto IQ frozen drinks and smoothie setting. So I really like that. And then boom, it hits you with a, a chop and cheer salad because we have those spindles now. So check this out. This is going to be rad too. Oh, this looks delicious. Okay, one cup uh, radicchio cut into two inch pieces, three fourths cup fresh parsley leaves, three fourths cup watercress. I love watercress. Three fourths cup bib lettuce leaves. What, what? A half of red cup pepper cut into one and a half pieces, uh, inch pieces. Three ounce feta cheese, if y'all want to get your feta cheese on, okay? 14 great tomatoes, mmm. One can 14 ounce garbanzo, uh, garbanzo beans, uh, drained, blotted, and dry salt and pepper. Now, this is a perfect idea on how to use the food processor. So, what they do now, they say fit the 64 ounce food processor bowl. So, that's what this is. And I'm almost thinking, y'all, it's the exact same food process. So, this is 64 ounces. Let's see. 1.6 liters. We're gonna have to see y'all, 64 ounces. Yep, so this is 64 ounces and this came out of the professional version. So that's pretty rad. So I'll have a spare one of these if this one goes bad, you know, because Antoinette, her broke, right? And I'm sure they pay, I'm sure these cost like 35, 40 bucks just to buy an accessory, okay? So it's the exact size food processor and the professional and the kitchen version, okay? So it says uh, fit the 64 ounce food processor bowl with the chopping blade assembly, love it, then add all ingredients in the order listed. Turn it on, then pulse to a consistency, transfer chopped salad to a bowl, and toss with your favorite dressing. Delicious, y'all. I wanna show you these, these recipes real quick. I like how they just hit you right off the bat. Look at this. Yum me. Check that out. So this is the smoothie, y'all, and this is right here that you can do for the food processor, right? Real ingredients, okay? Nothing's, you know, it, you just, these are all fresh, all right? So, here we go. Now we're gonna unbox this, y'all. All right, before we do this, I wanna know, cause y'all know how much I love the Nutribullet. I wanna know right now, give me um, hearts if you have a Nutribullet, okay? Give me a bunch of hearts if you guys have a Nutribullet. Then give me a thumbs up if you guys have the Ninja. And then tell me which one you have because Ninja's making coffee makers now. Ninja's making espresso machines now, y'all. So I really want to find the best one. I'm almost certain this one's got to be it. It's got to be it. And you know, I mean, if these cups are legit, the 24 ounce ones, you know, and you get the extra spindles and the base is a little bit smaller, I mean, Nutribullet has got, it's got, it's got some competition now for sure. And I've been using Nutribullet for five years, y'all. So let's see what we got. Oh, it's the big canisters. What, what? Finally. I'm going to compare this to the Nutribullet one too, y'all, so we'll see. Oh, oh my goodness. This is my ecstasy. This is my orgasm. Nobody's going to take me down, y'all. This is what gets me going. Know what I mean? No one can take me down. I, oh, check these out. Totally different ball game, y'all. Look at this. Look at this lid. Look at the weight of this lid, okay, compared to this lid. I mean, the weight is completely different. Look at that. For the same price, y'all. Look at the difference, okay? And you get two of each. There's no reason why you should, you should get the, the, the professional. There's just no reason why. You're just not getting, you know, this is just a much better option, the weight to this. I mean, really, I mean, even if you don't like larger smoothies, so you might have someone you wanna spread the love to and make, you know, a, a much larger smoothie. And you know, you just, you just don't have the option. I had to make two smoothies today because they're only 16 ounces. So, that is next level. Very, very excited about that, but it looked like it only came with one, where the professional version came with two of these. So that's interesting. So you only have one, but you know, the Nutribullet, it only comes with one as well. So you only have one base, but much larger cups. So here's the cups, y'all. Look at the difference. Look at the difference, okay? Major difference. This one even has the Ninja embossed, see? And it just feels like it's just, it's just heavier. It's even made out of completely different plastic, way different plastic. See the difference? See how much smaller this is? 
So that's the difference between the kitchen version and the professional version. And you get two of them. Look how large these are. Now I'm gonna go grab the Nutribullet one and we're gonna see what's up. So check this out. Here's the Nutribullet one, okay? This is the Nutribullet one, and this is the, the Ninja, right? It's larger, it's not as thick. It doesn't have as much girth. Okay, it's got about, about a half an inch, but it's not as girthy, okay? And I believe they're both 24 ounces, and I have a whole bunch of these um, from Nutribullet. I've got a whole bunch. I believe this is 24 ounces. I believe they're the exact same size, but just not in girth and length, y'all. So that is very, very good to know. All right, y'all, so we've got two 64 ounce lids with, or canisters with one base, all right? Now, let's see what else we got. Very interesting, I don't know what that is. That didn't come in uh, the kitchen one. I don't know what that is, we're gonna have to figure that one out. So, I'm gonna toss that. Let's see what this is. I believe this is the lid. So this is the lid for either the blender or the food processor. And it looks like it's the exact same. Nope, it's, a, it's a different, y'all. It's different. It's different. That's going to be interesting. I mean, you could, you could very, you can barely tell the difference, y'all. But look at the font and even the dimensions. See, this one's smaller. This one's smaller. I want to see if this one fits the old blender top. So this one right here is from the professional, and I want to see, and this right here is from the kitchen. And it does not fit. They did that for a reason, y'all. It does not fit. That's not good. I wonder if I put some lube on it. Maybe I put some coconut oil. It just, it just doesn't fit. So that's not, uh, that's not cool, y'all. That's not cool. So I can only use the top for, I mean, you can't, you, can't, you can't mix and match. So that's a bummer. I don't like that. You know, I think they did that for a reason because, you know, they make typically on big items like this when they mass, when they mass make it, especially if it's a really good product like Apple, they got to make their money on the accessories. And I guarantee you these are 15, maybe even $35 a piece. And so they don't want that universal. You know, that's what Apple does too, y'all. They close that down. So I'm going to keep this separate. This right here is from that. So, all right. So we've got the lid. And here we go. So now here is one cup. And this is different too. So look at the cap. This is the cap to the, uh, the kitchen one. And it has a little clamp. See, now on the one, the home one, they went a lot cheaper. See, look at the cap here. From the home to the professional. Okay, this is the professional one, and you would think it'd be more professional. This one's way more next level because you can close the top. Okay, you can't close the top right here. So if you're mobile and you're driving around, you, know, you can fit a straw in here, but you're, you're done. I mean, if it spills, it's going to spill through here. Right here, it's big enough to put a straw through, and you can close it up. Much better. Much better top. But you only get one. <laughs> In the uh, in professional, you get two canisters, two bases, and two tops. In the home one, you get uh, two canisters, one base, and one top. So, you know, I get it. I get it. All right, so let's keep going on. Let's see if I read the comments. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Kathleen. Hi, Jonah. Jonna. Is it is Jonna? Let's see what we got here, y'all. I love these unboxing. I feel like it's Christmas all day, every day when I do these. Ooh, what do we got here, y'all? So this is the blender. This is the blender in the home edition. Okay, it still has, which I do not like, but it's just different. It has, you know, the you have to insert for the blender versus the blend tech and all the other ones they're at the bottom and so again you know if, if you're making some thick stuff like a pina colada or even just a smoothie you kind of lose it that's why you have to stay the lid i just don't like that maybe i just have to get used to it i just don't like to waste any of the product so 
Oh, way different. Oh, this is way different. I don't even think they're going to be universal, y'all. This is much larger. Much larger. So this is, this one right here is the professional. See? And this one right here is the home. See the lid right here, that little lip right there? See, it doesn't have it on this one. And see the base? See the difference between the base? They're two completely different blenders, y'all. Very interesting. Very interesting. So let's see here, 1.5. This one almost seems wider as well. Let's see. So nine cups and nine cups. So here it is. This is side by side right here. They're both 72 ounces. They're both nine cups. It's just the base on this is much wider. Much wider, y'all. So that's very interesting. You know, I still don't know if I can put this one on the base of the professional version. But we will find out, y'all. Okay, what else do we got in here? here? Here's the special accessories, right? So why not get these? It's the same price. This is what I'm really excited about, y'all. You know, it's the exact same price, but I think it's because it's a Sam's Club edition. Because I haven't seen these at Walmart, y'all. I haven't seen this version, um, the home version, with the extra uh, spindle accessories. So I'm just certain that it's got to be a Sam's Club exclusive. So here we go. This is what I'm talking about, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. You put this in the food processor, right, without the blade, and it has a little shoot where you can shoot, and you could do a whole bunch of things. So this is a grating disc, this side up for grating. So, I mean, I'm sure you could do cheese. You could do carrots. I mean, you could do cabbage, y'all. You could do zucchinis. I mean, you could just do whatever, and it comes with two. And this is a slicer, y'all. Check it out. So here's a slicer. This is a reversible disc for slicing, okay? And you can flip for shredding. So check these out, y'all. This is what we got going on. Now these are freebies, basically, because you're paying the same price, okay? So now the home kitchen one is four in one, right? Not three in one. Now you kind of have a food processor and a little bit of a slicer and dicer and grater. So I'm telling y'all, this you know, with the dehydrator and a juicer, you're, you're next level, baby, right? And it's an investment in your health. So, I mean, I'm already telling you, it's this one right here, y'all. I mean, you throw a dehydrator in here, you get a juicer, and this is a four-in-one. I mean, for 150 bucks? What? I mean, they're changing the game right here. All right, let's see what else we got here. This one's kind of stuck. Okay, so this is, this is the top to the food processor, and I'll show you the two. I can already tell the difference. This one right here has the chute if you wanted to slice and dice. So check this out. Major difference. This is a completely different, completely different tool, y'all. It's really a much upgraded version than the professional one. Why do they name it professional, y'all? The professional one should be the professional one, the best one. So, this is a two-part food pusher, lift to remove, twist, and separate parts. If processing small items like carrots, insert large pusher into chute, use small pusher to guide food through the chute. So, it's the exact same as the one professional, but it has this chute, y'all. Look at that. Boom. Boom. And then you put those little graders in there and it's good to go. So I want to compare this top compared to this top. Now look, two completely different tops, y'all. It's a totally different level, totally different game. So you have the shoot here and you don't have a shoot. So you're missing out, you know, on, on, on being creative and being versatile in the kitchen for the same price. Look at that, totally different. Totally different model. It's almost like they're built by different companies. So now we got that. We've got the chute. And here comes the base, y'all, and the food processor. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, oh yeah. So now we have the base and the food processor. And it comes with another cap, y'all. So we got two canisters and two caps. And it's the next level one. That was a surprise. 
So if it comes with another base, then I mean, there's just they should just take that other model off the market. You know, unless it, unless unless it makes people want to go get a Sam's Club membership just to get you know exclusive items like this. Okay, so here's the dough. It comes with the dough, the dough thing. So this is how you make your doughs, y'all. Same thing as the other one. Check it out. So these are almost identical. Let's see. Yeah, these are pretty much identical, y'all. So these dough ones, I would almost think that you could use them. Yep, these are the exact same. So that's interesting. This is the first thing that's the exact same in the two is the dough, uh, the dough blade. So very interesting. So if for some reason you happen to have two models and you need another one, I bet you these are, I bet you these are 20 bucks, you know, to go buy. So, and here's the base of the processor. Now, this just has to be different just because of the top is different. So let's see. Boom. Check out that. So this is 64 ounces in eight cups. Now, let's compare it to the other one, y'all. So now here, here is the other one, okay? Very different uh, because it's just like the blender. The base, see how the base right here is much larger. See, the tops are about the same. It doesn't have a release button right here, like, like this one doesn't, but this one does, and this one is from the home. So very interesting, same size, different width, and different base, y'all. Very interesting. Okay, now what's really exciting, and let's see if the regular processor blade is the same between the two versions. Okay, so this one is from the professional, and this one, ooh, this one is coated differently. This one is coated different with a different type of texture, but I think we've got the exact same build though. This one, this is D2. You can tell that this is just coated different with a different type of material. So I believe they're the same. The threading looks the same. So I believe that they are going to be universal. So that's very interesting to know. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and take this down. And now we're gonna compare the bases, y'all. Cause it, I mean, with the difference sizes of the, of the blender and the processor canisters, I, I don't think that they're going to be universal for each base, but we'll check it out. Do you all like these? I love doing these, y'all. You know, I love doing this stuff. So let me know if you like these type of unboxings, okay? All right. Let's do this. So here's the base, y'all, for... This is the base for the professional, and it says professional right there. You're like, okay, if it's the professional version, you know, then it must be the best version. You know, it's 150 bucks, you know, but I guess the kitchen, the kitchen one is just better. Oh, what? Oh, this is totally different, y'all. Totally different. Ooh, check this out, y'all. It's even, oh, I mean, this is just totally different. Look at that. And that's what the auto IQ. So I think what the auto IQ does is it already senses what canister's in there, and then it just gives you the options, right? It's like, okay, you're doing a smoothie, you're gonna do a nut butter, you're gonna dice some carrots, you're gonna slice some cucumbers. I think that's what it does. So look at that, completely different, y'all. Completely different and the exact same price. See? See? This one's much lighter because it has less horsepower and less wattage. So it's a much cheaper version, but for the same price. So the first thing I'm going to do, oh, I can already tell. I can already tell, y'all, the base right here is much larger. See the base on the home version? See that right there? Is much larger 
than the professional version. Much larger. So I don't think it's going to fit, but I'm going to try it anyways. So here is, right here, this is the home version, and this is the professional. So let's see if it fits, y'all. So I want to do it this way. It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit at all. It's not even close. So the only thing that's universal is the blades, I guess. Oh, I wish it would. I wish it would fit. So now this is going to fit like that. Oh, see that? Oh, see how that locked into you? Listen to that. See that? Uh, look at that. Just, and then you know you're ready to go. It's not good. I might, oh, well, I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. This, oh man. Bye bye professional. What is up with the home system? The home system is where it's at. So look at that beauty, y'all. Look at that, right? Now we've got, we've got the frozen drink smoothies. It's got a timer on it. The other one didn't have a timer at all. They had no timer at all. This one has the Nutri Blend, the food puree, okay? The food, the, the food puree, okay. The food puree, okay. Okay? So now we have the off and on 1500 watts, two horsepower, not the 1.5. This is two horsepower. Where's a blender that's two horsepower, right? And a food processor that's got? I don't care about cars. I care about blenders, y'all. I care less about cars, y'all. Cars are gonna get you the same place, but this is gonna, this, you know, you're gonna have a different type of smoothie, you know? Your dates aren't gonna taste the same if you're putting them in a less powered thing, right? Your coconut oil, you know, your, your frozen bananas, right? Cars are gonna get you to the same place, right? But, you know, you know, I like my dates nice and smooth, y'all. So the more horsepower, the better. And believe it or not, I'm not done with this. I would pay, I would pay 225 for this tool right here. 225, that would be tops. They're paying, you know, 150 is what you'd have to pay. Just because now it's four tools, y'all. So then we've got the Nutra Ultra Blend IQ. We have the low dough disc. We have the medium, high, and pulse. All right, so this is the Auto IQ Nutri Ninja Hiya! blender system, y'all. All right, so now what I want to see, let's see. Now, this is the food processor. Oh, see how that just snaps right in there? Now, let's put the chute on there. Oh, nice snug fit. It's, it feels like it's a completely different product, which it is. Look at that. And then you put the discs in. See, but oh, see, I'm a little bit. Let's see how these discs work. And you know, this is me just wrapping stuff, and I'm gonna play with it. But I think you just put these discs right in like this instead of the blade. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. See, I'm not good at this type of stuff, y'all. I don't really do directions unless I have to, and I'm not really good at like, putting stuff together. I might have to read the directions with this, but you know I'm gonna be sliding around playing with this. I wonder why it's not fitting, though. It never fits, if you know what I'm saying. So that's very strange, why it's not fitting. Oh, wait. No, I'm gonna have to read the directions, y'all. But anyways, what I'm gonna do, I just did some groceries, y'all. I'm gonna slide back up in here, probably about 45 minutes, maybe an hour, and I'm gonna make a cauliflower peanut butter smoothie, right? My first one in the Nutribullet, because I'm starving. I'm gonna work out. That's why I'm gonna come back in 45 minutes for my second time, and then I'm gonna do a cauliflower almond peanut butter, or almond butter smoothie, what what, with the larger canister, so I don't have to make two smoothies. So I can use the larger canister and just be done with it. Look, right? So next level, so I'll play around with this for a little bit. First, I'm gonna go to the gym. I'll come back, I wanna see how these work, and then I'll make that smoothie, okay? So, this right here, this is the difference, y'all. This is the, uh, the Ninja 
Professional. Negative, 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 y'all. Unless that's the only option that you have, you know, but there's a much more optimal version for the same price. And to be honest, if it was if it was $50 more, that'd still be all right. And sometimes, you know, they go up to $210. I see, I actually, I'm almost certain this is a Sam's Club exclusive, y'all. So let me know. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Mystic. Hi, Cindy. You all let me know in those comments section because I read them and I want to know if you have a Nutribullet, if you have a Ninja, and what version, y'all, okay? Because I've given away three Nutribullets now and I'm giving away my fourth juicer, I think, in two days, y'all. So make sure you share it, all that stuff. Um, but if this is better, y'all, I'll start giving these away once a month rather than the Nutribullets because the Nutribullet is one tool, right? I really... The one thing, and I'm going to play around with this, the Nutribullet, you can kind of rock, you can rock a little bit more. This one has these sticky shoots. See how it's not going anywhere? Which is good, and it has a release. At least the other one had a release. This one doesn't have a release. Oh, it has it at the bottom. So it's right here, kind of like a hood to a car. See? Oh, that's even way better. That's way better. Look at this. So on the professional version, you got to hit this little switch right here. Look at it. You gotta hit this little switch right here. This little doohickey. I learned that word through Optimal Reset. Doohickey. So you have to hit this little doohickey to unlock the thing, right? But holy schmanoki, the home version has these little, these little like, you know, like if you got a Mustang or something, I've never had a Mustang, but you know when you gotta pop in the hood? I don't even know how, like, you ever try to pop in the hood? You're like, where is this thing? You're like, Come on, you're like, where's that? Well, this is like, whew, check it out. And then you just let it go. And then you go, oh, whoops, how did I get back on? Well, see, now it's good. Now, it, now it's not going anywhere. Then you go, whoop. So, so I think they fixed that. They must have, they must have been listening to me, y'all. Let me see how I get this off. How do I get this off? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, anyways, let's see. So I'm gonna hack. So I'm gonna act like I'm doing a smoothie and I'll hit the release and you can go like this now, which is awesome. Especially if you're doing a nut butter or something, you know, you can shake it around. You gotta you got spread some love, don't be too rough. You know, don't be too rough, unless they're like, but you can spread it around, you know, like if you're doing a nut butter or like I like to do on the Nutribullet, cause sometimes, you know, like the frozen bananas, they'll get stuck. You know, if it's got the coconut oil around the top, you need to be able to, you'll, you need to be able to be gentle and rough at the same time, and that professional version would not let me get rough with it. So, this is good to go, y'all. This is sweet. This makes me happy. This makes my heart purr, you know what I mean? And this just made my day. So hopefully this video um, helped y'all, and please let me know, you know what you got and, and what your thoughts are, okay? And so I'll be back, I'll slide back up in here. I'll be doing a cauliflower, almond butter, smoothie, and I'm telling y'all, when I told you I'm gonna be front and center and I'm here to serve all of you, I'm taking this thing to the next level. I don't know. No, I will say, we'll say, I have to save some stuff. Let's just say, if you see a notification that says I'm in the bathtub, you know, doing some juicing, you know, you might wanna watch, okay? Because I might just bring my juicer in the bubble bath. I just might, y'all. Why not? Iggy wants to, you know, Iggy's my, Iggy's my guy, you know, why not? Get a nice cold juice, what? Some carrot, apple, ginger, freshly juiced in the bubble bath? And you don't even have to be like, no one's serving you, you're just serving yourself, you're just like, and then boom, nice cold with the bubble bath, you don't even have to get up, you're, you're just right there, freshly juiced. So there is a little bit of logistics in there, I don't want to get shocked, you know, I have been tased before, and I definitely don't want to be tased again. And I think, you know, so I have to try to, I'm trying to make sure that it's legit. Legitly legit, right, Michelle? Okay, so you all, I'm gonna slide up in here about an hour, I'm gonna work out, and we're gonna do a, what is it, we're gonna do oh, um, a cauliflower almond butter smoothie. What, what? Here's a little love spin boom, because now, because now it says love, baby, right? It doesn't say all that other thing. So look, I'm always trying to up the game. So I'm here to serve you, all right? Love spin, boom. Boom! I'll see you in about an hour, okay? Lay you 
and whisper on my pillow through the winter all night long you better touch me now <laughs>